Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. In the last part, Ember scarred us for life, and then I went off to go and, like, not think about Ember for an hour. Um, Sebastian is doing something. I still need to... My, my one major task that's left to do in this game is, uh, is, is Lorem and Ipsum's sphere thing completion. Um... Because there are apparently more parts to that sphere than than I thought earlier, than I already had, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to work out exactly what those are. Okay, seriously, what was it that I had to do in the trash to find the second part of the sphere? So apparently, I picked up the base to the Ixman sphere back in August, whenever I last played this game, and didn't like realize that. Uh, so that is how I, that is how I was able to obtain the, um, the lower mending. So that's good to know. Um, good to clear, good to have that cleared up. Um, these are the remaining achievements for, uh, that aren't, that aren't, like, endings. So there's ways to perfectly good batch of eggs. I feel like I should know how to do that, but nothing comes to mind. Uh, wait for Remy until you get bored. I'm not entirely sure where that is, where you do that. Um, this is way back in the beginning when Bryce asks you if you want to hang out later or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't come across that decision too often because I usually just system skip through that part. And I probably shouldn't. And have two messages waiting for you at the same time. That's, that's it. Um, I don't think I'm going to go out of my way. I don't think I'm going to make videos on reading guides and doing them and following them. Uh, but I do want to see... Um, what endings are there? If I were to... And, and the, uh, the Steam overlay is starting to lag big time again, and I don't know why. Uh, there is, there is Betrayal. I don't know if this is the one where everyone hates you in the end. Uh, Rejecting Bryce's Invitation. Catastrophe. And that looks like Bryce, so I'm guessing that's Bryce's bad ending. Alone. And Hope. Hope is probably the good one, right? That looks like the administrator mask. I'm going to I'm going to focus my my thoughts on that one. Um, so with that said, I think I'm going to go and uh, and play through this to the end like normal and see if anything new happens at the end. Whoa, whoa, that's a new one. Today's the big day of the fireworks. I can bring everyone now. So I thought of this like two minutes ago when I was trying to figure out who to hang out with in each of the days. Um, all of the characters have one scene and they all somewhat like me. I, I was wondering if I didn't waste time with Emra, what would happen if I tried to bring everyone up to two scenes played, but it seems like there, it seems like there's not enough time in the game to do that, to do two scenes with everyone. Um, this is a total of uh, two, four, six, seven, plus Emra would have been eight scenes that I could have seen here. I'm going to go with everyone. Uh, this sounds significant. I thought about who I should bring to show the, bring, bring to the show this time. Thinking about it set off a vivid image in my mind of fireworks I had seen before, exploding in patterns and illuminating the night sky. Uh, suddenly, memories of my many attempts to birth forth like the fireworks themselves. That's a strange sentence. Uh, all the different things that had happened, the people that I had met, and also many, many confrontations with Reza. I remembered everything. So are we, are we only now, oh, there's everybody. Gang's all here. Um, are we only now remembering what had happened on the previous runs? I'm not sure what to say to this. Well, the science behind the time traveling is actually sound and doesn't contradict anything that we know about the portal. That's because you don't know anything about the portal, guys. Uh, I can't say the same about the theory with the wormholes and barriers, though. It does confirm what my roommate has been learning and my own experience. I can't believe this is, all this has happened to you, stupid. The proof speaks for itself, really. I'm not sure about this. It just all sounds so... I know, Bryce. Time traveling is only something that happens in bad science fiction novels, right? Right. And I thought this was going to be some sort of intervention. Intervention? Intervention. I had already given you proof regarding time travel. You don't have to believe me about the rest, though. All you have to do is... All, all of you have evaded peril because of this phenomenon. So I have to make sure everyone doesn't die, and I guess I have to have have everybody on good terms with me. Um, think of the times where you suddenly changed your mind because what you thought because of what you thought might happen. 
If you had memories of things that never happened or dreams that later turned out to be true, you would have experienced it as well. And some of those nightmares, yeah, those have happened too. Are you saying that if I had flown during the competition, I would have died? Wait. Is that a thing that happened? I don't remember that. I don't remember figuring out how Adine died. Um, I remember she got hurt, but I remember her surviving. I remember things from timelines where I died. Uh, there must be the that the same must be true for you all as well. It's not just your imagination. This is nice and all, but why did you call us here? I mean, what's the point of telling us all this? I know where Reza is going in a few hours. The five of you are the people I've gotten to know the best in the time I've spent here. And maybe you even remember some of the things we've done together in other timelines. Now we need your help to stop him. Why don't you just call the police about this? You wouldn't even need to tell them about all the time traveling and such. I have a feeling I would have, Remy. Come on. Uh, the case was already getting too big for us, and we still haven't gotten the reinforcements we've requested from the city. With the fireworks going on tonight, we really wouldn't have anyone to spare. You want us to stop him? That sounds dangerous. Uh, he's killed at least four people so far, right? And let's not forget that he still has his weapon. What's in it for me? Anna. 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 Having a part in stopping a murderer would probably get you a civil honor. Wouldn't exactly look great on uh, look great on us to give someone a medal and throw them in prison the next day, just saying. That sounds like blackmail, Bryce. Knowing Emra, she'd probably make a big parade out of it and have her pardoned. Sounds like a deal to me. Of course you'd only help for your own good. At least I consider my options instead of just following someone blindly. Stupid tells me that you... Uh, t stupid, stupid tells you to fly. And you only ask how high. Stupid has called us here to stop Reza. If we want to make this happen, we should probably start making a plan. Agreed. Okay, so we're on the same page about that at least. So where is he going to be? He is going to be in the underground building near the portal. He'll try and steal its generator. Previously, I only realized where he was once he was already inside. But this time we can think about the best way to stop him. If we're just going to storm the place, I should probably go first. Uh, for one, I'm a professional, and what's more, I'm also an Earth Dragon. That's what makes me a good cop. Virtually unkillable by any would-be criminals. I wouldn't be so sure of that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, all of us together should have no trouble taking him down. I don't want to kill him if we don't have to. Yeah, as the chief, I agree. Even if we outnumber him, let's not forget about his weapon. Our first goal should be to disarm him somehow. How can we do that? Well, I've got a shocker at home. Because, why wouldn't Anna have a shocker at home? Hit him with that, and I doubt he'll be able to hold out- to hold anything for a while. And we can ca and we can cuff him after that. I'll show you how to do it. Actually, I'll let each of you have a pair, just in case. You don't have to bring one for me. I don't think I'll be able to use them. Don't worry about it. They were designed with flyers in mind. It's really easy to cuff someone if you know how. Well, if you say so. Okay, we've got a shocker and some handcuffs, but that isn't much of a plan. What are we going to do? Wait for Razor to arrive and then I'll try and cuff him at once? Yeah, basically. Maybe you should go alone. Yeah, I'm sure Stupid called us here only to confront Razor alone in the end. What are you talking about? Well, if you want to get him with the Shocker, your best chance is to surprise him after you've gained his trust. You may think it's safer if we're all there because we outnumber him, but in reality... <clears throat> in reality, this will likely prove an aggression, uh, pr uh, provoke an aggression reaction the instant he sees us all. I agree, you may not be able to talk him down, but in the end, you only need to get close enough to hit him with a shocker. Uh, I think uh, I think he's frightened, feeling like an alien in this world. Maybe that's how he could become a killer, by seeing us as someone foreign or lesser. Uh, I can't for the life of me remember who said this, but I think it was like... I want to say it was one of the like sci-fi writers, Terry, Pratchers, Terry Pratchett or something, um, who, uh, who said, evil begins when you start seeing people as things or something like that. I can't remember exactly. That sounds like a good thing for my future self to look up and put in an annotation. Hey. Um, but I've tried doing that before, with one of you staying in hiding until things were about to go wrong. That usually didn't work out as well as it should have, because you approach him because your approach with him was wrong. You tried to talk him down or distract him while help arrived. What should I do then? So go there before Razor arrives, and act like you're going to steal the generator yourself. Carry it together, and as soon as you're outside, surprise him with a shocker and cuff him. Meanwhile, all of us will be hiding in the area, and watch you to ensure that nothing goes wrong. 
That sounds pretty good. How'd you come up with it? I read something similar in a book once. Remy, you're a nerd and I like you. I see. Wasn't that one of the Sheridan books? He pleads the fifth, uh, Lorem. No comment. Any other opinions about this plan? Aren't there doors and stuff inside the bunker? Can't you, can't you all just, like, hide in there and ambush him? Wouldn't that be more straightforward? I couldn't think of anything better if I tried. Do you really think you can pull it off? I have to. We better get ready then. I'll have to fudge, I'll have to fetch the cuffs from the department, and Anna should gather shocker. I also have to make a phone call before I go. Phone call. Yeah, tell Sebastian not to come in for a shift today. Okay, so that's how Sebastian survives in the, uh, in the end. So, just in case. Just in case. No. No, yes. Uh, just in case, I'm going to overwrite the one from almost a year ago. Have I really been doing this for that long? I guess I have. And, uh, I'm going- that's just- that's just in case. I don't plan on needing to reset any saves unless there's a really complicated dialogue tree coming up. Uh, we'll see. So while we waited for Bryce and Anna to return, uh, Laura, Adine, and Remy stayed in my apartment and made lunch for everyone. After we were all reunited, Bryce showed us how to use the disposable plastic handcuffs he brought, brought. Uh, as they were designed to even constrain an earth dragon like Bryce, they were nigh impossible to tear. And then you just pull here until they're tight enough so he won't be able to pull his wrists out. Does anyone need help? How about you two? No, I got it. You were right, it's pretty easy if you know how. Okay, so we've got more time before we're leaving. Uh, I guess we can just sit around here and wait. The calm before the storm. By the way, how's that investi investigation about me coming along, Bryce? That's not something we should talk about right now. Besides, I've been busy with the whole Razor thing, so... Of course you can't tell me anything. I suppose I won't even know when your people will suddenly decide to take me in. It's not my fault you violated the conditions of your suspended sentence. I'm just following protocol. I better get pardoned for doing this or else. Or else what? I might as well go through the portal myself if I just end up getting arrested here. Just saying. If you don't want to stay here, maybe you should go right now. Guys, is this really the best time? I'm all for helping stupid. I just want to make sure I'm covered as well. If, if what I've read about her is true, maybe she shouldn't get pardoned. Don't believe everything you read in those tabloids. Can confirm, they don't know anything. You don't know the whole story either. Does that mean you lied under oath? Maybe I should reconsider this. See, that's what I mean. She only cares about herself. My research has saved thousands of lives, if not millions. What did you ever do for the community? Anna. Buddy. I volunteered at the orphanage, and what's more? I, I, I do that to, just to help them, not for my own gain. Why does she have to be the only one who gets something out of this? Well, all of us will probably get a medal. This isn't really the kind of discussion we should be having right now. Laura, I like how you're the one the one sane head in this entire room right now. Okay, so if you lied under oath, that's something I can't just forget. Just can't forget. What are you gonna do about it? I make you a deal. You you tell us all right now what happened back then, and you'll have my support when it comes to being pardoned for helping stupid stuff raise it. How does that sound? That sounds like something I want to address in the last in the next video. Probably the last video, because it sounds like this is going to go on for a while. And um I'd like to give that its uh it's due attention. So, my name is Dragonite. In the next part, hopefully we'll be finishing things off once and for all. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.